Right, and guess what showed up? Your cup of caterpillars. Those are all the caterpillars that we're gonna put in your butterfly garden. And and you can put them on here so yeah. they can play on here. So eventually they're gonna go up on top there and then we're gonna watch and wait for them to turn into butterflies. And they are not to fly away? Well, we'll let them go eventually, but they're gonna grow up in our butterfly garden. They're gonna grow up. You're gonna raise your own butterflies. Isn't that great? What's this? Oh, there's stickers. We got your butterfly garden during bingo a long time ago, huh? We've hatched a lot of other things in your butterfly garden though, haven't we? What did we hatch in there? We hatched moth, several moths. We even hatched a cicada in there, didn't we? <laughs> All set to go, perfect. <gasps> Look, there's the cup of the gunnifors. Hi, one, Okay, so here's what we do. We handle the cup gently. We gotta keep it upright. We're gonna keep them inside with us. Look, what is already almost there, right there? It says after seven to 10 days, they'll climb to the top of the cup and attach themselves to the underside of the lid. Climbing to the top, and there's a lot of stuff in the cup. It looks like they're getting ready to form a cocoon. They're hanging upside down. Pretty exciting. Right, I think one of your caterpillars is a cocoon. Or it's starting to be a cocoon. There's one down on the ground, actually. They're starting to change. Wait three days for your caterpillars to fully harden. And that's when we put it in the butterfly garden because eventually they're gonna hatch. So all the caterpillars turn into cocoons. Look at that. You gotta be very gentle with this. So we got four on top and we have one on the bottom down there. Our butterfly house is kind of dirty because we use it for a lot of stuff. You can kind of see the butterfly wings starting to form in there. The gun coolers start breaking and there might be a butterfly. That's right, when they're ready to come out. Let's see how they're climbing, turning the cocoons. They're there, they hatch, feed us some flowers. This is so gonna they be cool! It's gonna be so cool. Number three, move them to the butterfly habitat. Gently remove the lid. Hey, how are you? Look, Bray, come here. Look, see, come see how they're moving. They're supposed to do that? See how it's shaking, Bray? Why is it shaking? They shake to scare away predators. Like lobster predators. That's right. It says, why are they wiggling? Sometimes you will see them wiggle and shake, especially if you disturb them. This is very natural reaction to ward off predators. Even mosquitoes are predators. <laughs> mosquitoes are no fun, that's for sure. If one falls, is we're just gonna scoop it up gently with a little spoon, and we're gonna remove the webbing, and we're gonna lay it on a paper towel close to this wall. Good work. That way, the butterfly will have something to grab onto when it comes out. There they are. Oh, he's shaking again. That's where they were eating and growing. Brayden, come here. Look what came out. One beautiful butterfly. Hi, buddy. Hi. Yay, that's step four. Step four? Wait for them to hatch. Wait for them to hatch. Look at that. They're starting to come out. I wonder what kind of butterfly that is. I think it's a pretty lady butterfly. Another butterfly came out. Did you see a hatch? I didn't see it. It must have come out of the cocoon we set on the paper towel. Where where should we put our butterflies? Well, we have to let their wings dry, and then we'll give them some food, and then we'll let them go in a couple days. Sound good? Did you see his wings flapping? Oh, there it goes. <gasps> Look how beautiful it is. It's so beautiful. What are those red droplets? And it tells you that it's all normal.
Even when their wings get stronger, it's the last day before we let them go, we can might hold them. All right, we have our butterflies all ready to fly away. I want this one for the butterflies. Take a look of it, see if I like it. Hmm. Think so? All right, so we had four butterflies hatched total. We have this plant that we planted that attracts butterflies and hummingbirds. So in here we've been giving them fruits and sugar water. They're gonna love to be free, don't you think? Put your sucker in and see if you can get them to land on it. Can I do that? Sure. Let's get Brayden's first. That Bray. Got it? Very gentle with it. Hey mommy, can you hold this and I I'm playing like closer to my face. Good job. What do you think? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this one's very excited to fly. I'm gonna put a little bit of a little bit of pear on my finger. A great idea, Bray. Let's see if they like it. <gasps> there he is. He's on my finger, Bray. Look. Can I hold him? Yeah, here. Let's get some pears on your finger and maybe he'll let you hold them too. Oh no! There he goes. He's flying away. Ah! Here, let's get the pear on your finger first. So you're gonna rub the pear all over it. Okay, it's okay. If you're too scared, Bray, you want to try it? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, good job. Put on, some hair on your finger in you. Look how beautiful JJ is. Hi, JJ. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, beautiful. Bye, JJ. Bye, JJ. Oh, there she goes. Wait, look it. Good job, kid. <laughs> Back to the sucker. <laughs> Woo! Bye. Oh, look at her fly. That was a lot of fun, huh? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Move on my